Welcome, welcome to the GOP Thanksgiving dinner. Let us bow our heads in our favorite prayer, a compulsory one. Um, could you two noisy children at the kids' table kindly pipe down? I'm talking to you, Marjorie and Matt. I'm about to try and get the attention of our glorious invisible ATM who lives far away in the sky but is reputed to have excellent hearing. <clears throat> Dear Lord, we thank you for this food. But wish you had made it six or seven times more expensive than last year. Yes, we prayed solely out of Christian love that America's families would go through excruciating economic pain before the midterms. That they be so starved for food in their house that they may hunger for a GOP supermajority in our house. Now, I don't mean to criticize, Lord, but for someone notorious for torturing humans, you showed on customary and inconvenient restraint this year. For, as I seem to recall, the last time we chatted, you promised the Senate. Of course, in Genesis, you promised never to destroy the earth again. And then we get to Second Peter and you're promising to turn it into an enormous ball of cataclysmic fire. So I guess when it comes to going back on your promises, it could have been worse. And not to sound ungrateful, Lord, but we are also disappointed with our meager blessings in the house. We prayed for a red wave, not a close shave. But now is not the time to point fingers. Oh, who am I kidding? In times like this, Republicans are just like you, Lord. Our only regret is that we just have 10 of them, Lord. We love you with all our hearts, convenience permitting, and we know that your love is unconditional. On the condition we do everything you demand. And even though you made some noise about giving away all our possessions to the poor, please call on me as you have called upon brothers Pat Robertson and Franklin Graham to parlay my personal savior into a personal fortune and guide your own Republican Party to create that which you secretly desire. Tax cuts for folks rich enough to tie to your wildly successful franchise. There will be, however, the customary 100% handling fee. Oh, Lord! We ask that you heal this deeply divided land. To those who disagree with us, we beseech you to drown out their voices, preferably by drowning them. We pray for our earthly Lord and Savior, Donald J. Trump, for we possess unrelenting love and our loyalty to him. We will, however, ditch him in a heartbeat for Ron DeSantis to keep our jobs just as we once jumped at the chance to ditch you, Lord, for Mr. Trump. Let us remember all who have departed. Yes, thanks to Madison Cawthorn, the average IQ in the room has shot up. Let us pray that the room's IQ one day exceeds the room's temperature. Oh, Lord, on this day of abundance, for us, we are grateful for forefathers shrewd enough to steal the Indians' delicious recipes before stealing their land. Yeah! Happy Thanksgiving to all true Christians and real Americans. Hello.